those stocks with us. Well, it's that time of day, 3 p.m. odd, when Nimesh joins us to tell us what is he picking up into uh, in terms of dealing room chatter. Nimesh, what, what's, what's the buzz this time? Uh, you know, it looks like there is a day of, this is a day of consolidation and, and it looks like there is a good, you know, uh, fight going on between the bulls and the bears. The bulls are trying to defend 17, 800 very strongly. But I believe uh, the bulls don't have the ammunition or, or the support from the FIs. So the FIs are net sellers again in today's series, what I understand. There's going to be a small market at close basket selling, largely dominated by financial. So that's the other feedback that, you know, in, in that MOC basket, there, there are a lot of uh, financial names which are, which are going to get sold into by, at, at a leading FI test. So again, that's not supportive as far as the banks are concerned. Uh, the sector churn continues. So today is a day for OMCs. So a lot of the OMC stocks are buzzing in trade. Mm. Some uh, old counters are doing good within pharma as well. But largely the, flow, the, the feedback is uh, the, the, the flows are negative. Uh, there is not much momentum uh, as well, whether it's the mid-cap or the small cap. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, I've been repeating uh, every day, but we're still in that range between 17,800 and 18,300. So that's the that's the big you know, zone which we are stuck into. Either way, we have to break out for a decisive move. So that's something needs to be tracked. But today, I guess, uh, the bulls are trying to defend 17,800. But there is no support from the FI. Yeah, it appears that at the lower end of the band, you know, there is a bit of a bounce, but sustenance of that is not uh, really forthcoming. But what about individual stocks? What are you picking up? So in terms of individual names, the first stock today is uh, Canfin Homes. That stock is mildly in the green, but I guess there is some bit of action back. Some volumes are picking up at leading h &I desk. Uh, and I understand uh, the, the trigger would be appointment of the new MD and CEO, which is likely to come very soon. So, and most likely the appointment is, I mean, the new, the new MD and CEO is likely to come from a, from a leading MFI. So that's something to track in Canfin Home going forward. So that's the first one. The second stock is Bharti Airtel. I highlighted in the morning that JP Morgan downgraded the stock and that stock was under pressure, but not only that, there is, there is selling pressure across multiple uh, FI desks in Bharti Adil today. So th that's, the, that's the reason why that stock is under pressure. The third stock is Tata Communications. Uh, again, you know, uh, out of the blue, that stock is in the, is, is, is in the green. So good volumes as well. I, I understand there's, there is a small buying uh, flow at a leading FI desk, but largely it's, 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 a, it's a trigger on the quarterly earnings. So uh, the, recently there was a CLS upgrade on the stock and they said quarter, Q3 earnings will be, will be the big trigger for Tatacom going forward. So that's, that's the reason why that's buzzing in trade. And the last talk is Kotec Mahindra Bank. Remember two days back I highlighted about the block not happening. Now it looks like some bit of buying interest is back. So today, for, for instance, I understand there is good amount of buying interest at a leading FI desk in Kotec Mahindra Bank. So the delivery volumes are going to be quite high and there is a bit of genuine interest back in Kotec Mahindra Bank at a leading FI desk. All right, uh, interesting names as uh, always. Uh, Nimesh, thank you very much. We'll keep an eye